Have you ever wondered about the world's largest rodent that loves to swim? Welcome to our exploration of the intriguing capybara, a creature that holds the title of the world's largest rodent. Capybaras hail from South America, where they spend their days lounging by water bodies, grazing on grass, and socializing in their tight-knit groups. These semi-aquatic mammals have a distinctive look, with a stocky body, a barrel-shaped torso, and short heads. Their unique physical features like webbed feet and dense fur are adaptations that allow them to thrive in aquatic environments. Beyond their physical attributes, capybaras have a set of unique behaviors that set them apart. They're highly social creatures, living in groups that can number from a handful to several dozens. Communication is key in their world, and they have a variety of vocalizations to express everything from contentment to alarm. What's more, capybaras play a crucial role in their ecosystems. They are a food source for many predators, and in turn, their grazing helps maintain the health of the grasslands they inhabit. They also create pathways through vegetation that other smaller animals use for easy access to water or to escape from predators. But it's not just their ecological role that's fascinating. Capybaras have a certain charm that has endeared them to humans. Perhaps it's their calm demeanor, their social nature, or their distinctive look, but there's no denying that capybaras have a certain allure. They've even found their way into the folklore and traditions of the local cultures where they are found. Despite their size, capybaras are often hard to spot in the wild due to their natural camouflage and their preference for staying near water. This elusive nature adds another layer to their intrigue. So, why focus on the capybara? Because in understanding this unique creature, we gain insights into the intricate web of life that exists in their native habitats. We learn about the delicate balance of ecosystems, the importance of each species, and the fascinating behaviors that animals have evolved to survive. Now that we've sparked your interest, let's delve deeper into the world of capybaras. Scene script, capybaras, a unique creature with unmistakable features. Let's dive into the world of capybaras, the largest rodents on the planet. They've got a distinctive look that makes them easy to recognize. Imagine a guinea pig, but supersized. That's right. Capybaras can grow up to 4 feet in length and 2 feet in height. They're covered with a coarse, brownish fur, which helps them blend into their natural surroundings. Their most striking feature is their semi-aquatic lifestyle, reflected in their webbed feet, perfect for an afternoon swim. The capybara's natural habitat is as intriguing as its appearance. These animals are native to South America, where they thrive in the grasslands and forests near bodies of water. They're keen swimmers, you see, so they need to have a water source close by. It's not just for recreation, but also a necessary escape route when predators are near. Speaking of water, it's also where they find a lot of their food. They're herbivores, with a diet that consists mostly of grasses and aquatic plants. And, fun fact, they're coprophagous, meaning they eat their own feces to extract maximum nutrients from their food. It might not sound appetizing, but it's an efficient way for them to survive in their environment. Now if you're picturing a lonely rodent spending its days swimming and grazing, think again. Capybaras are highly social creatures. They live in groups, often ranging from 10 to 20 individuals, though some groups can be much larger. These groups have a clear hierarchy, usually with a dominant male at the top. Communication is key in these groups. Capybaras use a variety of sounds to communicate with each other, from purrs and whistles to barks and grunts. They're most active during dawn and dusk, and they spend the heat of the day lounging in the mud or water, staying cool and avoiding predators. Their social behavior and unique features make them stand out in the animal kingdom. From their love of water to their social structures, capybaras are a fascinating species that truly embody the diversity and wonder of nature. From their diet to their family structure, capybaras have an interesting lifestyle. Let's dive into the world of capybaras and discover what makes their lifestyle so intriguing. The first thing to note is their diet. As herbivores, capybaras enjoy a plant-based menu, munching on a wide variety of vegetation, including grasses, aquatic plants, and even tree bark. Their teeth are perfectly designed for this, with strong, sharp incisors to slice through tough plant matter and molars for grinding it down. Feeding mainly at dawn and dusk, capybaras spend the majority of their day grazing. They're also known to be selective feeders, choosing the most nutritious parts of plants. And when food is scarce, they've been observed eating their own feces to extract as much nutrition as possible. While this might seem a bit gross, it's a smart survival tactic that allows them to make the most of their food resources. 
Now, let's move on to their reproduction. Capybaras have a fascinating mating ritual. During the wet season, when food is abundant, males will compete for the attention of females. The dominant male, often the largest and strongest, has the privilege of mating with the females in his group. After a gestation period of about five months, the female gives birth to a litter of around four to five babies, although this can vary. Last but not least, let's talk about capybara family structure. In the wild, capybaras live in groups of 10 to 20 individuals, sometimes even more. These groups usually consist of a dominant male, several females, and their offspring. The young ones are looked after by all members of the group, a behavior known as alloparenting. This collective care helps ensure the survival of the young and strengthens the bonds within the group. Their social structure is quite complex, with a clear hierarchy maintained through vocal communication and body language. It's this strong sense of community and family that helps capybaras thrive in their natural habitat. Their herbivorous diet and strong family bonds play a key role in their survival. Scene Script Capybaras don't live in isolation, they interact with other wildlife in fascinating ways. As the largest rodents on the planet, capybaras certainly take up a lot of space. But they're not just big in size, they're big in ecological importance too. These aquatic giants play a crucial role in maintaining the health of their environments, contributing to the diversity and stability of their ecosystems. Capybaras are a food source for many predators, including jaguars, anacondas, and caimans to name a few. Their grazing habits also help control vegetation, which in turn regulates the habitats of other species. It's a ripple effect, where the actions of the capybaras influence the lives of countless other animals. But the capybaras' influence doesn't stop at being a part of the food chain and a landscaper. They are often seen socializing with a variety of other creatures, forming relationships that are nothing short of extraordinary. Birds, for example, are often seen perched on capybaras, pecking away at ticks and other parasites. This is a win-win situation. The capybaras get a free grooming session and the birds get a meal. It's not just birds that benefit from this arrangement. Capybaras are also friends to other creatures, like turtles and monkeys, who often hitch a ride on their backs. This symbiotic relationship illustrates the capybara's gentle, accommodating nature and their role as the cruise ship of the animal kingdom. Insects, too, have a special relationship with capybaras. Mosquitoes, for instance, are attracted to capybaras and feed on their blood. But don't feel too sorry for the capybaras. This blood-feeding process helps in pollination as mosquitoes fly from plant to plant, aiding in the spread of pollen. So, you see, capybaras aren't just oversized rodents who love a good swim. They're key players in their ecosystems, forming intricate relationships with a variety of species. Their existence is not just about their survival, it's about the survival of many other species too. Their existence significantly contributes to the balance of the ecosystem. Humans and capybaras share a unique bond. These gentle giants have been woven into the fabric of various local cultures, their presence immortalized in folklore and tradition. Stories of capybaras are told from generation to generation, often representing harmony and coexistence with nature. But these captivating creatures face threats from habitat loss and hunting. Conservation efforts are ongoing, with dedicated teams working tirelessly to protect and preserve capybara populations. They are creating safe spaces, rehabilitating injured capybaras and educating communities about the importance of these aquatic rodents. The capybara's tranquil demeanor, combined with its distinctive appearance, has sparked a fascination among people worldwide. Their ability to form bonds with a variety of species, their complex social structure, and their adaptability to both land and water, all contribute to this intrigue. These charismatic creatures with their docile nature and intriguing behavior captivate us, offering a glimpse into the rich tapestry of the natural world. Their importance in local folklore and the fascination they garner make them an integral part of human culture. Every animal has its share of fun facts and myths, and capybaras are no exception. Dive into the world of capybaras and you'll find some pretty intriguing tales. Let's start with this. Did you know capybaras are semi-aquatic rodents? That's right, they're as comfortable in water as they are on land. They even have webbed feet to help them swim. Now, let's debunk a myth. Contrary to popular belief, capybaras are not aggressive. They're actually quite sociable and peace-loving. They'll often be found lounging with birds and other animals, proving their harmonious nature. And here's a fun fact. Capybaras have a unique way of communicating. They use a variety of sounds such as whistles, barks, and purrs. 
They even have a special tooth chattering sound when they feel threatened. Finally, a myth debunked. Capybaras are not overgrown guinea pigs, despite their similar appearance. They are a separate species altogether, with unique characteristics and behaviors. These facts and myths make capybaras even more intriguing. Capybaras are truly unique creatures. That's a sentiment we've echoed throughout our exploration today. These gentle giants, the world's largest rodents, are a testament to the fascinating diversity in nature, showcasing an array of unique characteristics that not only define them but also play a vital role in the ecosystems they inhabit. We've journeyed through their physical features, from their size and appearance to their distinctive semi-aquatic adaptations. We've delved into their natural habitats, predominantly in the wetlands and savannas of South America, and discussed their social nature, communication, and daily activities. We've also explored the capybara lifestyle in depth, their strictly herbivorous diet and grazing habits, their intricate mating rituals and the birth process, and the importance of family groups and dynamics in their social structure. Taking a closer look at their interactions with other wildlife, we've seen how capybaras significantly contribute to the ecosystem. Their relationships with birds, insects, and other species often result in mutual benefits, forming symbiotic bonds that are truly fascinating to observe. And of course, we've addressed the human-capybara interactions, the cultural significance of these creatures in local folklore and traditions, the threats they face, and the ongoing conservation efforts to protect them. We've also pondered why people, like ourselves, are so captivated by these unique creatures. Before we wrapped up, we took a moment to share some intriguing, lesser-known facts about capybaras and debunked common myths or misconceptions surrounding them. As we conclude our journey, we invite you to ponder and engage in a deeper understanding of these aquatic giants. Perhaps you have questions, insights, or experiences you'd like to share. We'd love to hear them all. But most importantly, as we part ways, let's carry forward a newfound appreciation for these remarkable creatures. Their presence in our world is a gift a gentle reminder of nature's wonders and its interconnectedness. So the next time you come across a capybara, be it in a picture, a video, or in the wild, remember to appreciate and respect these amazing creatures in the wild. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of capybaras. We hope that this exploration has sparked an interest in these fascinating creatures and their unique role in our planet's ecosystems. If you're eager to delve deeper, there are countless resources available online, from articles and studies to documentaries and conservation organizations dedicated to the protection of capybaras and their habitats. You might also consider visiting a local zoo or wildlife sanctuary that houses capybaras, where you can witness their captivating behavior up close. Remember, every creature, no matter how big or small, plays a pivotal role in our world. By understanding and respecting them, we contribute to the balance of nature. We've only scratched the surface of the intriguing world of capybaras today so keep your curiosity alive. Stay tuned for more exciting journeys into the animal kingdom.